There's one thing I've heard so many women repeat over and over again, and that is men don't know what the hell they want. Men are confusing, they're frustrating, and it just becomes a huge annoyance to the point where a lot of women don't want to bother with dating and relationships. And it all stems from the fact that a lot of women feel men are throwing them mixed signals, all right? Does he like me? Does he not like me? What the hell is actually going on? So I want to break down why these men or why some men are sending you mixed signals, but also how you need to better handle it and the things you need to understand about this whole dynamic. Now, let me make clear real quick. None of these things are validation, so to speak, of a man's behavior when he is giving you mixed signals. I'm just explaining it to you so you can have clarity about the situation. But again, there's a bigger picture I want you to hear at the very end. So the first reason why men send you mixed signals is because he wants you, but he doesn't think he's the one for you. So let me give you a quick story. I remember years ago, I was in uh, Uber driving. It was in Miami. And the Uber driver, it was a man, and he recognized me, right? So we get to talking about relationships and dating, and he needed some advice with a situation he was facing. And after we addressed his situation, he brought up this very profound point to me. He said, you know, growing up, women are fed the whole fantasy idea of the happily ever after. Not saying people don't live happily ever after, but just saying a lot of more women are fed that through the movies, the books, cartoons, whatever, right? However, what he has noticed is that as adults, and, 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 and in addition to the whole happily ever after, the whole concept of the one, all right, that one person is something that women are fed more often. However, what he's noticed and observed is that as adults, men seem to hold stronger to that, all right? Men seem to be the one that's like, yeah, I like her, but she's not the one, or I don't think I'm right for her. And women on the other side, when they find this man that they really like, that they really want, not all women, of course, but many will latch onto it. They, they want to make it work to the point where some will overlook red flags, overlook their intuition, dismiss talking to God, you name it, because they've locked into what they want. But the man in a lot of cases, won't take it that far. And what this leads to is these situations where the man wants you in the sense that he desires you. And you have to understand that just because someone desires you doesn't mean they value you. Or just because someone desires you doesn't mean they can see them spending their life with you. Desire could simply be, I want to be in her presence for the time being. Um, I enjoy some of the benefits I think she can provide. It may be built out of lust, infatuation, but deep inside, he senses or knows he's not the right guy for you. And by default, you're not the one for him. And, and that's the thing. If you're not the one for him, he's not the one for you, at the end of the day, it boils down to the same thing, right? But because a lot of men are, let's just say, weak to their flesh, because some of you are going to say, well, if he knows he's not the right one for me or I'm not for him, why the hell is he bothering me? Well, why, why is he even flirting? Why is he doing these things that cause confusion? And again, I repeat, this is not validation. This is explanation. Because as I said, being weak to the flesh causes people and, and men in this case to get caught up in the moment. All right. To have moments where. He allows that desire for you to blind him into acting out and doing things that will lead to confusion. And then once he kind of snaps out of the moment, he pulls back. And it, it just continues to be this push and pull because it's like he, he wants it, but he knows he shouldn't be there. He's not the one for you. Now, let me make something very clear. There are some men who know he's not the one for you or you're not for him and they don't give a damn. And those men, rather than just simply throw mixed signals, they will move forward with trying to be with you, even though they have no desire or no willingness to truly be what you need. 
all right? They have no intentions of ever becoming that man. They're simply trying to take from you all that they can. So now you could make the argument that that man will still show a level of mixed signals within the relationship, but his willingness to even go in a relationship with you when he's unwilling to step up to the plate is blatantly a man who's just trying to take advantage of you and, and be selfish in that situation, so to speak. But the, the dynamic that I'm really speaking to is the man who he doesn't seem willing to cross that line because, again, he knows it's not the right thing to do, but he has this temptation towards you, so to speak. Now, let me also throw this out there because I, I think a lot of women don't realize how often this next thing happens. There are men who have a conscience, okay? And when I say that, I mean, like, they meet a woman like yourself. They view you in high regard. And you got to understand, not, not believing you're the one for them or they're the one for you does not equate to not viewing you as a great woman. It doesn't equate to not thinking that you would make a great wife. It's just them feeling that this isn't the right fit, all right? And when you have a situation where the man knows he is not the right fit and he views you in high regard, he becomes less willing to fully engage with you, all right? So, like, I've heard men throughout all my life where in some situations they'll be like, you know what, she's a really good girl. I, I don't even... Hell, they, I, I, I know of men who are even friends with women who they may be highly attracted to that woman, want to sleep with her as, you know, if the opportunity came, they would love to jump on it, right? But they view her in such high regard and they know that crossing that line could lead to hurting her. So they'll like leave it alone altogether. But because the desire still exists or the attraction still exists, it can lead to moments of what is going to be interpreted as mixed signals. So this guy may not be blatantly trying to confuse you. I mean, he's not blatantly trying to confuse you. He's just not mastering his own desires. He's not, he's not understanding what levels he needs to take it to to manage the situation better and not create confusion in you. He may also think his signals are not, his mixed signals are not affecting you. All right. He may not understand the impact it has on you. And that can lead to him, to him continuing with this constant pattern. And we'll touch a little bit more on that as we go along in this list. But that is one of the reasons or one of the scenarios that lead to a man sending you, a mix, sending you mixed signals. The second reason a man sends you mixed signals, and this is no particular order, of course, is he wants you, but he's not ready to be the man you deserve. All right? So this is different than... Number one, where he wanted you, but he feels deep inside you are you guys are not the ones for each other in the long run. So he's and he because he views you in high regard, he's not trying to cross the line. But again, temptation gets the best of him. In this case, he feels like this you are that woman. He wants to be with you, but he doesn't feel ready. And and his lack of readiness could be for various reasons. It could be lack of readiness because. He feels like he's not at a financial position that he needs to be at. And again, notice I said the man that you deserve because it's not simply about what you may verbally say to him is acceptable. So what I'm saying here is if we're using the financial situation, you in your mind might say, well, listen, I don't care about the money. It's no big deal. I, you know, I love this man. I would take him as he is. But he has internalized that he want, you deserve better than that, that he wants to give you more than that. And, and, and as well, not just what he wants to give to you, what he wants for himself to feel confident and secure in that relationship with you. Because a lot of that stems from a personal thing, a personal goal that men have set for themselves before they feel like they can be uh, properly uh, in a relationship or feel adequate in a relationship. So it could be money. In some scenarios, and I would say, argue this especially or more specifically when the man is a lot younger, he feels like he's not done playing the field. Now, I know some of you might say, well, if he loves this woman and he feels like he, she's the one, why wouldn't he be done playing the field? Listen, un <laughs> the unfortunate reality is that 
Some men have a desire, a curiousness, um, a thirst that needs to be quenched or they feel needs to be quenched. All right. And they understand that with this woman who is before them, who they view as she's it, they know that there's a level of commitment and sacrifice that has to be given to be with this woman. And if they have not gotten certain things out of their system, right? And they understand that once they cross the line with this woman, ain't no going back. I mean, yes, of course you could say, well, they could end up broken up or divorced one day. Yeah, but you're not going in thinking, okay, let me just try to be with her and then I'll just break up with her later. No, he's thinking, okay, if I view her as my forever, then I understand once I cross the line, that's it. It's done. I can't go back to dibbling and dabbling in the streets or whatever. And now let me make clear, not every man is like this. There are some men who are not, they have no desire for it. I would say they're not even wired for that. They just don't care. They are a relationship guys, like what I, what I like to call them. And they will, they're quickly ready to give up the other option, so to speak, to be with this one woman. But then there are some guys who, yeah, they, they've been dreaming about the chance to have the opportunity to date different women and things of that nature. I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong, just saying this is what it is. And, and hell, you may have caught them at a time where they just started seeing success in, in dating and meeting women. And so now it's like, man, I, I don't know if I want to give this up just yet. Because again, once I give it up, it's done. It's a wrap. So it could be money. It could be wanting to play the field. Um, it could be things that's in the sense that not being where he wants to be. Let's say he lives with, with his mom. You know, the situation, not what it is. Whatever. It's a variety of reasons. But the, the bottom line is he feels like I am not ready or able at the moment to be what you deserve. However, what you're going to notice is the common denominator in all of this mixed signal action, at least for the guy who has a level of respect for you, is that because there is still a desire for you, there are still moments of getting caught up or there are still going to be times where he gets caught up in the moment. There's still going to be times where he allows his desire, his flesh, whatever you want to call it, to get the best of him. Again, not saying it's right, not saying it's healthy. I'm just explaining what human nature is for a lot of people. All right. A lot of people know, you know what, this isn't best to do this. But because there's that part of you that wants to, you end up engaging in ways that you shouldn't have engaged. And it can create confusion. So some of you might be dealing with the man who's like, he's telling you he's not ready, he's not ready, or he's not, you know, he, he doesn't think he can be what you need at the moment, but yet he still wants to see you. Yet he, he may still try to sleep with you. And I'm not saying there aren't some situations where the guy's just playing games, and we'll talk about that more later, but there are scenarios where, no, he actually is genuine about his lack of readiness, but he is not being... We could use mature, wise. He's not doing what's best as far as managing the situation, understanding now is not the time for it. So that's another huge, big reason why uh, a man will send you mixed signals. All right, so now we're on to the third reason. And the third reason he sends you mixed signals is because he wants you, but he can't have you. And let me rephrase that a little bit. He perceives or believes he's not able to have you. So what do I mean? This may sound a little tricky, but let me break it down for you, all right? There might be a guy who likes you, who uh, has interests, but for various reasons, whether it's you curved him before, and if you don't know what curved means, <laughs> you, you declined his, his, his advances before, you ignored him, maybe you didn't answer his DM, whatever the case may be, right? You, you, your action, intentionally or unintentionally, planted a seed in him that says, you ain't really got a shot here, bro. It's not going to work. However, he still likes to, to throw his little flirts here and there, show your interest here and there. Now, here's the thing. If you really don't have any interest in him, then you may not care. And, and his one minute seeming like his foot's in the door, one minute the foot's out, maybe like whatever, he's just stupid and annoying, right? But let's just say there's a scenario that you actually do have a level of interest or maybe you developed interest later on, right? And maybe when he caught you before, it was just bad timing. There might be reasons why you were not receptive at the moment that he does not understand. But again, 
His mixed signal is based on the idea that he's thinking, I don't really, I can't really get you, but I'm still gonna play this flirting game with you and showing interest. This little back and forth banter that he he thinks is no, it's just you're you're entertaining with him, not realizing it may be confusing the hell out of you, right? And, and think about it like this: like I've seen situations where the man flirts, and again, in the moment, a lot of these scenarios are people getting caught up in the moment. In the moment, he's maybe engaging and talking like he's really feeling you like that. And it's not that he doesn't have actual interest, but because he doesn't see this going anywhere or doesn't believe you're even taking him seriously, he's not consistent with it. He just does it in the moment and then he retreats back to his, to whatever, all right? But little does he know if he, or little do you know, if he actually knew he had a legitimate shot and could get you, it may turn his, his signal into something consistent. All right? Or on the flip side, if he knew it was annoying the hell out of you and you made that clear to him, in some cases that might stop it. But if we're being honest, some men are going to just always be persistent and pursue and things of that nature. And let's speak about the persistence real quick. Because sometimes the mixed signal in this scenario is not just about he doesn't think he can have you. It's just him being persistent when he has the energy to. And what I mean by that is, again, he's tried before. Let's say he's the guy who's DM'd you five times before, and it took five times before you even responded. Or maybe you responded once, and then you stopped responding, whatever. And it could be other engagements. Maybe you guys see each other at work, whatever the case may be. Some men believe that by being persistent, eventually you'll give in and give them an opportunity. But even in that persistence, they may not be consistent because it can get tiresome to keep trying over and over again. And, and when I mean trying over and over again, consistently, like every day he sees you, he's consistently showing that he has interest or every week. So it becomes, a, a, a I hate to say game, but it comes a situation where when he has the energy or he's in a good mood, he, throw, he shoots his shot. And in other days, he looks like he's not really interested. But it's not that he's not interested. He just doesn't have the energy to try today. All this, I know, sounds confusing as hell, right? But again, I'm trying to give you clarity on what many of you are facing and deal with when you come, when you come across these men who show you or send you these mixed signals. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here. And I'll see you there. It's one thing to fight for a man who loves you. But you shouldn't fight for a man to love you. Now remember that quote, because I'm going to break it down and help you understand the difference between those two things. But the reality is that many women, might be you, 